What does Michael Jordan have to teach us about lasting longer in bed? Well, it's probably not what you think. <laughs> what does famous sports star Michael Jordan have to teach us about lasting in bed? Well, I'm going to share with you a technique that Michael famously used to sink the winning shot so that you, oh my gosh, the pun is too much, so that you can sink your own winning shots. But first, I have to tell you a scary story. I once had a client who was addicted to porn. He used porn multiple times a day, every day throughout his late teens, all the way to his late 20s. And I recommended to him, as part of curing his premature ejaculation, that he quit masturbating to porn. Well, on our next call, he promptly let me know that he had quit porn, but that when he went to masturbate, he couldn't get hard. Now, I encouraged him to just keep trying and to be patient and weeks went by. He still couldn't get hard. He would go to masturbate, he would get the lube and do all the things I was telling him to do. And then when push came to shove, well, he was limp. The truth is that porn causes both erectile dysfunction and premature ejaculation. And part of curing both of those is learning how to masturbate without it. And today I'm gonna to teach you not just how to masturbate without porn, but how to have the best masturbation of your life without porn and use it to get harder and to last longer in bed. If you are saying to yourself, that sounds too good to be true, Caitlin. Well, I told you Michael Jordan was gonna get involved, so sit tight and you're gonna want to watch till the end of this video. I'm gonna share with you my best advice for using masturbation to develop ejaculatory control and last as long as you want in bed. Ay. A lot of men find that giving up porn is hard pun not intended. The reason is that porn is so visually stimulating, it can make it hard to get aroused without porn, but don't worry, I've got you covered. There is a simple tool that I use to replace porn during masturbation, and it's actually going to make you better at sex. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the power of your mind and the power of visualization in order to last longer in bed and overcome erectile dysfunction. Plus, it's gonna make masturbation fun again. Stay with me, I'll explain more. The most important thing for you to know right now is that this system works for all men, no matter if you've been using porn your whole life or if you don't find that you actually have a problem and you just wanna get better at sex. Something you must know is that in order to get better at having sex with a partner, you must change the way you have sex with yourself. The way that you masturbate is the way that you have sex with a partner. And since your partner isn't Pornhub, you are gonna have to change the way that you relate to porn in order to change the way that you relate to your girlfriend or your wife or whoever it is you're having sex with. Here's the other truth. Human beings didn't evolve with porn. Your ancestors were lucky if they got a glimpse of a topless woman across the watering hole. And because porn is so deeply linked to our lizard brain and our desire to pass on our seed and make babies for the next generation, it's very, very, very deeply connected to our arousal. And if you grew up with porn, you know that sometimes that connection becomes wired pretty hardcore in your brain. This can lead for men to depend on porn in order to get aroused. That means in order to even get erect, they require the visual stimulus of porn. But this is not a permanent condition and this can be changed, even though some men experience some challenges and this is why I am here, I'm gonna save you from those unnecessary hardships. All right. Here is exactly how, step one, I want you to ask yourself why you want to get better at sex. Is it because you wanna please your girlfriend, prevent your wife from cheating on you, save your marriage, or you just wanna be confident so that you can start dating again? There's no wrong reason to get better at sex, but I want you to have it really clearly in your mind and maybe even write it down because I'm gonna ask you to do some stuff that's gonna challenge you and I want you to remember your end goal at all times. It's gonna make it easier when you hit some bumps in the road. Number two, eliminate porn entirely. Just get rid of it. You don't wanna have a, like a pass and go, maybe I'll look at it sometimes, da da da, relationship with porn. Just get rid of it, set up an accountability buddy, set up a child protection on your browser, whatever you gotta do, make a commitment to yourself that porn is out only while you're working on this system. You can go back to it later, trust me, porn will still be there. They're not, it's not going anywhere. So for right now, make a commitment to yourself that you are eliminating porn from your life. 
Otherwise, it's just too tempting. Like, I can't tell myself that I can have some chocolate because some chocolate means like a bar of chocolate or it might mean like a bar of Milky Way chocolate, which we all know is different than regular chocolate. And I can tell myself that the 88% chocolate is okay because it doesn't have a lot of extra sugar in it. And if I want to get rid of chocolate in my life, I got to get rid of chocolate in my life. All right. Here's the most important part. Here's my actual tip. You need to learn the difference between fantasy and visualization. So fantasy is an imagination. Fantasy is I am touching myself and I am thinking about the entire harem of sexy women and all of them are bent over doing crazy things and then all of a sudden they all get into a circle around me and they start there's hundreds of hands just touching my body. I mean, that might, we all have that fantasy, right? I'm not the, or your fantasy might be that there's like seven hot women just oiled up and you just get to like go down the road doing the nastiest stuff you ever thought of. That's great. Fantasies are wonderful. They have a role to play, but unfortunately right now is not the time to be fantasizing. This is where Michael Jordan comes in. This is the power of visualization. So fantasy is an imagination, but visualization is something that's actually real. So when Michael Jordan visualized himself sinking the basket, he was actually seeing it from his first person perspective, hand on the ball, hoop in front of him, crowd cheering, I assume, and he would see himself actually sinking the basket, and this is the trick. So instead of fantasizing about the sexual stuff that you want to do, instead you are going to visualize it actually happening. So as you're masturbating, you're going to visualize your current wife or your current partner, your current girlfriend, or maybe an ex-girlfriend or the girl that you have a crush on, but you're going to visualize a real woman with her real body really having sex with you. And you are going to use my other processes, such as the entire course of Come When You Want, if you have premature ejaculation, I'll put the link below, to masturbate. So in that course, I tell you exactly step by step how to masturbate in order to cure premature ejaculation. As you're using that, you are visualizing. You are seeing in your mind's eye, this real woman, you're seeing her really in the missionary position or whatever position you're in. You are imagining her moans. You are imagining her skin. You are imagining the things that she will likely say and do and the smells and all of the other senses that come along with having sex. And at the same time, you're progressively taking longer and longer and longer and longer to reach orgasm using the techniques in the course. So when you do this, you're essentially like Michael Jordan was giving your brain a dress rehearsal. Your brain has the sense of, oh, I can last as long as I want while having sex with my partner. I did it in my brain. I did it in the dress rehearsal. I can do it in real life. Just like sinking the free throw. One of my favorite tips to supercharge this is imagine your partner reaching orgasm. For a lot of men, their partner moaning and writhing and screaming. And it's very, very arousing. Sometimes they lose it when she reaches orgasm. So I recommend that you masturbate while imagining her reaching orgasm and you feel yourself having control and not ejaculating before you are ready. Just the pro tip for you. Finally, very important, don't give up hope. This is not a one and done process. This can take up to six months. Again, porn is very, very effective at getting into your brain and changing the way that it is wired. And so you slowly are going to engage in the process of rewiring it yourself. Think about how long you've been watching porn and then be gentle on yourself. If you've got 10 years of porn or 20 years of porn under your belt and you only give yourself two or three weeks in order to undo all that, not likely. Give yourself a while, it may take months, for some men it may take years, and that's perfectly okay. Each time you practice, you are making progress. And if you slip up and go back to porn, forgive yourself, it's not the end of the world. Beat your meat, but don't beat yourself. One more piece of advice for you. Every time you do this, I want you to celebrate. I want you to at least give a little like, ah. Oh fist bump, high five yourself, whatever you got to do. If you're already enrolled and come when you want, you know I'm a fan of celebrating you often. Celebrating all of your accomplishments, both large and small, is really, really important for making sure that this process is as fun as possible. And if you don't believe me, I want to tell you what someone who's already enrolled in my come when you want course said. 
And I quote, normally after jerking off while watching porn, I always felt a sense of shame. But from day three, it was the opposite. I felt content having pleasured myself while improving my mental strength to last longer. I mean, come on, bruh. If you feel sad or shameful after you masturbate to porn, this might be a way of putting the pleasure back in self-pleasure and at the same time making you better at sex. This is like a win, 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 win. Big check at your door with balloons and confetti, win. All right, in summary, in order to get better at sex with a partner, you can change the way that you have sex with yourself. Instead of using porn and instead of fantasizing about the hot sex that you wanna be having, try visualizing the sex that you will actually be having. This is crucial if you are going to actually get better at sex. This is the way that you give your mind the opportunity to practice what it feels like to succeed. Just the same way that Michael Jordan did, practiced in his own mind, visualizing sinking the basket, so too can you use the power of visualization to get better at sex. And Naturally, if you want to be amazing at sex, that requires you to have control over when you ejaculate. And if you want more of that, check out my course, Come When You Want, link is in the description. You can use that, it will help you to last longer in bed, have complete ejaculatory control, and feel sexual confidence you didn't even know possible. You could be the Michael Jordan of sexual confidence. All right, I've never said a celebrity's name so many times on this channel. I'm done. Check out Come When You Want. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time. Mwah!